respiratory system hai and in respiratory system we are going to see how the respiratory system functions how the gases are going to be transmitted from one place to another theek hai before going to the main topic let me open the board and show you ke board ke upar hamare paas hum isme i'm going to give you some main points so that you can get the main points uh, for yourself theek hai first of all let me go to the slide and let me show you the topic that we are going to study today today's topic is about transport of carbon dioxide through the body in human beings the percentage of transport of carbon dioxide and this is a very very important long question okay you should try to learn this very well now let me go to the first of all let me go to the board let me write down some main points for you on the board take your notebooks and write down whatever i am telling you people okay now this is the topic in which we will be discussing the transfer of carbon dioxide through the body the transfer of carbon dioxide through the body we have various mechanisms mainly in your book we have discussed three main mechanisms by which carbon dioxide will be transferred to the body one of them is by combining with hemoglobin and forming carboxy hemoglobin forming carboxy hemoglobin theek okay. hai second is by being transferred as a bicarbonate as a bicarbonate and third by simply dissolving in plasma in plasma plasma is actually a liquid part of blood okay these are the three mechanisms by which carbon dioxide is transported through the body the most important in this one is the transfer as a bicarbonate this is the whole mechanism in which we will study the tissue level and we will study the uh, impact in the lungs also okay what we will be seeing over here you must be very clear about what carbonic acid is carbonic acid kya hota hai you must be very clear about this what carbonic acid is you should know what when we say dissociation what dissociation means theek hai dissociation theek hai if you have an idea of what dissociation means but i give me the answer in the message box dissociation me and then what is unstable what is meant by unstable then we have another word which you are going to come across which is the protein carrier the protein carrier note this down the protein carrier okay after the protein carrier then we must know about ph the more normal ph of our blood which is about 7.4 ठीक है, the pH of blood. Then you must have an idea of buffering. These are the things that we will be using. These are the concepts that you people have already studied at the school level, and we will be using over here. Then we, you must have an idea of the impact of increase in hydrogen ion concentration. In hydrogen ion concentration. Now keep it in mind. that this whole process that is transfer as bicarbonate transfer as bicarbonate jo hai it is taking place in the red blood cell the red blood cell is the main uh, jo hai na action center theek hai it's taking place in the red blood cell and hemoglobin is playing a very important function in this transfer keep it in mind theek hai this is uh, a little bit complicated but it will be very easy for you once we end the whole lecture and you note down everything very clearly okay so this is a uh, hemoglobin and hemoglobin is going to combine with carbon dioxide and then let us see what the next story is going to be okay okay let me go back to the slide again for you then we will come back to the board once again beta 
transport of carbon dioxide. Transport of carbon dioxide may carbon dioxide is transported by three main ways as bicarbonate ions, as carboxy hemoglobin, dissolved in plasma. As bicarbonate ions, 70% of uh, carbon dioxide is transported in the form of bicarbonate ion. It takes place in the blood and in the blood in which area in the red blood cells. Carbonic anhydrase enzyme mainly carries out the function in this one and it converts, uh, it, it, it helps in the formation of carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase enzyme is converted into carbonic acid. Now this reaction, write it down in your notebook. This reaction, it takes place in the red blood cells. Now how this carbon dioxide reaches the red blood cells, we, I will show you a slide and it will become very clear for you. Carbon dioxide plus water, is going to give us carbonic acid in the presence of carbonic anhydrase. This is a reversible combination. This one is going to dissociate. This carbonic acid is going to dissociate. It is not stable here, unstable here, and it will keep on dissociating. What we are studying now is a Hamburger phenomenon, also known as the chloride shift. Carbonic acid breaks down into hydrogen and bicarb. Now, hydrogen and bicarbonate, this whole process is taking place in the erythrocyte. This breakdown increases the hydrogen concentration. And as hydrogen concentration increases, acidity increases. Why does acidity increase? Because increase in hydrogen concentration lowers the pH. And lowering in pH means okay, our pH is coming below the level of 7. Okay? And this is very dangerous because... Our body is normally alkaline. It is not acidic. So it is very important that this hydrogen ion, it has to be controlled. And how will it be controlled? It will be buffered by hemoglobin. Now, where is the hemoglobin going to come from? We already know that hemoglobin is bringing oxygen from the lungs. And all this is taking place at the tissue level. Hemoglobin is already bringing oxygen from the lungs. Hydrogen combines with the hemoglobin of the oxyhemoglobin. Okay. It releases the oxygen and it combines and forms hemoglobinic acid. Hemoglobinic acid now is not going to give it the acidic effect. So, however, we can say that hemoglobinic acid is being is neutralizing the effect of hydrogen. Okay. Hemoglobinic acid. Oxyhemoglobin plus hydrogen gives us hemoglobinic acid and releases the oxygen. The bicarbonate ion diffuses out of the RBC into the plasma and chloride ion diffuses into the RBCs. The bicarbonate chloride carrier protein on the RBC, remember this name, bicarbonate chloride carrier protein. Bicarbonate chloride carrier protein. This is the carrier protein which is going to give it a two-way passage. It is going to allow bicarbonate out and chloride in. And where is it present? It is present on the red blood cell membrane. It allows a two-way movement of ions. What is it? Bicarbonate chloride carrier protein. This whole phenomenon is known as the Hamburger phenomenon. And it is also known as the chloride shift. Now, ab hum aate hai towards the diagram. This is happening at the tissue level. We can be very careful and very attentive now. Carbon dioxide from the tissues is going to absorb into the erythrocyte, which is also known as the red blood cell. Carbon dioxide is reasonably lipid soluble and is easily able to negotiate the lipid bilayer, gaining entry into the cell. Here, carbon dioxide has entered the red blood cell and this red blood cell is coming from the lungs. It is bringing a lot of oxygen and it has hemoglobin on top of it, and it is coming from the lung. Inside the erythrocyte cytoplasm, water reacts with carbon dioxide in the presence of carbonic anhydrase and forms carbonic acid, which is unstable. It dissociates into bicarbonate and hydrogen, and hydrogen ions are buffered by the hemoglobin that is already present in the red blood cell and releases oxygen. The bicarbonate and the chloride are exchanged through this protein carrier which is present 
ऑन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द रेड ब्लड सेल ठीक है आगे चलते हैं नाउ दिस इज अ लिटिल बिट डिटेल यू हैव टू लर्न दिस डायग्राम एंड यू मस्ट ड्रॉ इट आल्सो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द टिश्यू दिस इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन द टिश्यू लेवल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द टिश्यू हाई कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंटेंट इन द टिश्यू पार्शियल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रेशर इज हाई इन द टिश्यू ठीक है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कम्स इनटू द रेड ब्लड सेल दिस इज द कैपिलरी carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase is going to produce is going to dissociate into bicarbonate and hydrogen bicarbonate is removed and chloride comes in and hydrogen binds with hemoglobin and releases oxygen into the surrounding tissues and oxygen will be supplied and provided over there now another Uh, combination over here is directly carbon dioxide combining with the hemoglobin and forming carboxy hemoglobin. This is the direct combination. With this reaction, it's not taking place. But this reaction, it is playing a seventy part, seventy percent part in transport of carbon dioxide. This is playing only a twenty three percent part in the transfer of carbon dioxide. Direct combination of carbon dioxide with hemoglobin. However. this also releases the oxygen and this oxygen it gets into the tissues and helps in the oxygenation of the tissues okay the chlorine inside the red blood cells combines with potassium and forms potassium chloride and bicarbonate in the plasma combines with sodium and forms sodium bicarbonate this chlorine when it comes into the red blood cell it combines with potassium and forms kcl and this bicarbonate when it moves out of the plasma in outside the plasma it combines sodium and produces sodium bicarbonate okay therefore neutralizing their ionic effect okay now this is happening in the tissues the blood ph now is maintained at 7.4 due to this mechanism you can get a question explain how the blood ph is maintained at 7.4 explain the mechanism then you have to explain the uh, hamburger phenomenon also known as the chloride shift this mechanism it mainly depends on the partial pressure of oxygen when we say partial pressure it means the amount of the gas that is present over there as compared to oxygen where we have more amount of carbon dioxide we say a high partial pressure of carbon dioxide Where we have a less amount of carbon dioxide and more amount of oxygen, then we say a partial, a high partial pressure of oxygen. Now keep it in mind that hemoglobin favors that gas, which has the partial pressure, which is more zada. Now in the tissues, partial pressure of carbon dioxide is higher. Hemoglobin is going to take up that carbon dioxide. The gas is going to drop uh, oxygen off. In the lungs. the uh, oxygen partial pressure is high so hemoglobin is going to ignore carbon dioxide and going to take up oxygen the reverse of this reaction takes place in the lungs carbon dioxide and water are released in the lungs now this is what is happening inside the tissues starting from carbon dioxide bicarbonate out and chlorine in carbon dioxide this is what is happening in the lungs where we have a high uh, uh, oxygen content bicarbonate comes in it dissociates it comes back inside sodium that bicarbonate breaks down into bicarbonate ion comes here all because of the high concentration of oxygen it is triggering this reaction chloride moves out okay chloride moves out एक मिनट ठीक ओके द क्लोराइड मूव्स आउट ठीक है आई टेक यू टू द बोर्ड राइट नाउ एंड बोर्ड के ऊपर भी हम इसको जो है ना